First Strike, Final Fantasy vs. 13 gameplay, and Bethesda Conquers the Year. This is Inside Gaming for February 2nd, 2011. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Inside Gaming. I'm your host, The Dead Pixel. Today is a very special day because we are finally streaming in Egypt. That is right. And hello, Egypt? Well, Egypt is not here, so I can finally get away with things that I've always wanted to do. Hello, King Tut. I'm going to stick things in you now. Pyramids, I will climb you. Get over here, Cleopatra, you hot bitch. I don't know a lot of Egyptian jokes. Uh, but for now, let's take a look at some news headlines. QuakeCon is coming back again for its 15th year in a row, as announced by Bethesda late last week. The Dallas Space event will be running from August 4th to the 7th and should be showing off titles such as Elder Scrolls, Skyrim, and Rage. August is still a little ways off, but the good thing is we still have DICE, GDC, PAXIS, and E3 in the meantime to hold us all over. It's gonna be an awesome year, I can tell. Speaking of own, the ZeniMax Overlord Company finally announced the official release date for Brink, which sadly has nothing to do with rollerblading. If you get that reference, I feel bad and good for you. Anyway, Brink is coming out on May 17th, but on top of that, other games from Bethesda and id were mentioned, like Hunted, coming on June 3rd. Rage, which is aiming for a September 16th release date this year, not 2015, like so many of you thought, worry not. And lastly, Skyrim is apparently on track for its 11-11-11 release date, unless of course you are in Europe where the release date will be 11-11-11. Last week, the NGP, or as I will be referring to it as until Sony comes up with a much better name, the PSP2, was revealed. With no official word on pricing, the general public began to panic, causing riots and floods like the world has never seen. <laughs> Thankfully, the official analyst stepped in to put our minds at ease. Everyone from Merrill Lynch to Edar threw at numbers like 250, 350, then 300. Thank you guys, thank you so much for clarifying that. Spot on. Oh, look, the riots and floods started again. <laughs> Shit. And while we're still talking about the PSP2, no, we're not. fuck you. Yes, yes, we are. Do you remember when Sony showed off games like Uncharted and Resistance at their press conference, and then they said Naughty Dog was making said Uncharted title? Yeah, well, that's not true. Second stringer studios like Nihilistic Software and Sony Ben will be handling the upcoming handheld remake slash port slash whatever the hell you want to call it in late 2011. Which is kind of odd since Sony commented that the PSP2 uses a similar SDK as the PS3. So porting older titles like Uncharted 2 or Resistance 2 should be simple, theoretically. Oh well, new games are good for your new handheld that will cost somewhere between $250 and $350. And lastly, if you like Kirby but didn't jive with that whole yarn thing last year, get ready for a Kirby classic. Shown during a Nintendo investor meeting, this leaked footage showcases that Kirby will indeed be heading back to his old school self whenever the next game comes out. Thank God. Kirby sucks and he should continue sucking like a short pink fat whore. Join me now as we suck the subtlety out of some downloads. Do you remember last week when the Crisis 2 demo came out and you PC butthurt guys were all butthurt? Well, goody goody for you! Crytek and EA revealed on the Crisis Twitter page that a PC demo is on its way sometime before the game ships, and that is all the information we got. Why is that the only information we got? Because we live in a world of tweets where attention spans are short and 140 characters is all you get. Take what you can get. And in case you did not know, the first batch of Black Ops DLC is now out, dubbed First Strike, mostly because this will be the first of many strikes on your account balance. Goodbye, $15. And while we're on the subject of First Strike DLC, we are giving away five First Strike DLC codes if you don't want to spend that extra little bit of cash. In honor of our 24-hour live stream, all you have to do is simply go to the Inside Gaming blog and sign up for our newsletter. That's that grayish little thing over to the right. You can sign up for daily newsletters or weekly. The choice is yours. Signups are going on until Friday, and the winners will be announced on Saturday, so watch then to see if you won. We will let you know. So, hop to it! Go sign up for our newsletter, get your news daily, and get a code in the meantime. That's all you gotta do. Let you and I strike our schedules together and check out the game releases of the week. Out this week, first is the all-new Ace Combat Assault Horizon. Are they still making Ace Combat games? Really? My god, 13th in the series, you say? Jesus. That is an accomplishment. Good job. 
Our second and last title of the week is a download-only game, the sequel to the retro remake Bionic Commando Rearmed, Bionic Commando Rearmed 2. It's got co-op and you can finally jump. Thank you, Jesus and Satan. Your combined efforts have made me a very happy lad. First looks to the shell, to the weed. Let's go. <laughs> A few weeks back, some gameplay footage leaked and was taken down by Square Enix for Final Fantasy vs. 13. It is now officially up for the masses to see, showcasing a very Kingdom Hearts fighting mechanic that we all know and love. This is actually coming from the Kingdom Hearts team, so as far as I'm concerned, this Final Fantasy is a name only, otherwise the franchise is just dead to me. Little Big Planet 2 came out recently, and already the kids are going crazy! Most notably is this guy who made the original Legend of Zelda completely in Little Big Planet. It looks really, really good. Too bad the sound effects are still in Sackboy status. Otherwise, this thing is legit 100%. But if you're not impressed, here is a much worse Zelda recreation, which by comparison makes the original look like a fucking Picasso. And finally, we have the Magicka infomercial. As you can see, the Power Rangers have officially downgraded their status to magic only. The effects here are just as good as they were in the 90s, and nothing beats a man using a sword on a cutout dragon. Nothing beats that. Chris Brown beats Rihanna, but... He doesn't beat Magicka. <laughs> okay, folks, that is the show. We'll see you back here on Saturday. In the meantime, get to know our blog and cuddle with our Facebook page. But before we go, here is the best video ever. Bye. Heard some more people got attacked last night. I heard some more people got attacked last night. 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 I heard some more people got attacked last night. Let's try to keep the line moving, folks. Come on!